Colorado ranchers are trying to solve a series of bizarre and gruesome deaths after discovering horses that appear to have been mutilated and left to die. The horses are the latest in a series of unexplained animal deaths in rural Colorado. Investigative reporter Heidi Hemmett is here with a story you'll see only on Nightside. Heidi? Well, the Schneiders live on a ranch in El Paso County. They've seen horses and other livestock get killed by one predator or another. It's a rural area, but they've never seen anything like this. They found their horses carved up with what appear to be precision cuts, and their genitals were missing. They believe their horses were mutilated, and they're not the only ones. King, what are you doing? Investigate. King is spooked and scared. It looks like a bruise or a burn mark underneath the fur. He survived a gruesome attack that left two other horses dead. I just started crying. It upset me so bad. Glenda Schneider discovered her horses sliced open with surgical-like cuts. It was cut this way and then down. Their eyes, tongues, and genitals were removed. There was no blood, no tracks, no witnesses. Well, you wonder what, what happened, what took place, what did it? The Schneiders reported the incident to the police. Local law enforcement, they're really not trained to look at something like this. And asked paranormal investigator Chuck Zukowski to investigate. He determined the horses died a suspicious death. The straight cuts, the open rib cage, the flesh taken off down to the bone, you know, those are red flags. The Schneiders now believe they have a mutilation mystery on their ranch that can't be solved. And the Schneiders are not alone. Paranormal investigators say there have been eight animal mutilation cases in Colorado in just the past year, and hundreds of animal mutilation cases all across the country since the first case was reported back in 1967. This is not a, a single case. I mean, this happened here before, 10 years before, 20 years before. Zukowski personally investigated dozens of mutilation cases. He believes UFOs could be to blame. We know it's not mountain lions. We know it's not bears. We're beyond that now. But the El Paso County Sheriff's Department disagrees. It appears to be animal activity. Investigators believe the horse's wounds were caused by predators. There's a lot of predators, and, and we aren't limited to, to just one or two. No, it wasn't. Absolutely not. But the Schneiders have seen plenty of predator attacks and say the precision cuts are anything but. That's scary. You know, that is scary. Glenda fears whatever killed her horses could come back. And it's shattered the peace on her quiet ranch for good. It isn't right. Paranormal investigators say mutilated animals have been found across Colorado, but the most reports are from the San Luis Valley in southern Colorado. The El Paso County Sheriff's Department closed its investigation, but admits they weren't able to examine the horses as closely as they wanted because they had decomposed too much by the time they got there. Ron? Uh, Heidi, so the Schneiders don't think it's uh, predators, right? No, and they've lived on a ranch all their lives. They've seen this kind of attack. They know what it looks like. They, you know, when an animal attacks another animal, there's usually claw marks and fur and, and blood and all kinds of signs, and they just didn't see that here. Yeah, sounds a little more precise here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right, good story. Heidi, thanks very much.